Okay, this is a tutorial on using the CCTV shader in Lightwave. I'm using version 10. What I have here in Modeler on layer number 4 is a simple object, uh, just something that you can distinguish uh, for three cameras to uh, shoot and then their outputs will be fed to the CCTV shader. So what I'm going to do is make the objects that will receive each camera's feed. So this would be layer number 1. We're going to draw a box. I'm drawing it in the back plane. Hit enter. F to flip the polys. And then the most crucial part of this whole tutorial is centering this object right here. It is very, very important. Very important. We're going to go to layer two and we're basically going to do the same thing with a little variation on the theme. There's my square. Enter. F to flip. Don't forget to center. But we're going to select all the points on this poly we're going to basically model a very simple television set. So we're going to hit E to extend and H to stretch. And we're going to stretch out and up. Then we're going to go T to the top view and we're going to pull these polys out. And as you can see, we get a little bevel there. You cannot bevel the starting square. You must select the points and uh, extend the points in order for this to work. So now we're going to hit E again to extend, H to stretch, and we're going to stretch out and up. And there's the little front face of the TV. Now we're going to extrude it back. We hit E to extend the points, T to move, and we just drag them straight back. And there is your very simple TV shaped uh, object. Don't forget to center very very important here's we're going to go to layer three here's one more version uh that we can project on to uh just in case you ever wanted to do something like this i don't know why you would but i'm doing it because i can so what i'm going to do is i'm going to draw a sketch and if i bring up the numeric panel i want to make sure i'm in face mode and i'm just going to draw a curve and i'm going to do it real close to the origin so you can see that the projection will get cropped off and we'll hit F to flip, and there's my shape. So this also has to be centered, even though it's flat. It's not doesn't have any depth to it. Make sure you center. Always, always center. So go back to layer one, and we're going to select this polygon, and we're going to assign a surface. So we're going to hit Q, and we're going to assign CCTV1. We're going to go to layer two. We're going to select the projection surface. Q and we're going to hit CC layer CCTV2. We're going to go to layer 3, select the whole face, hit Q and we're going to hit CCTV3 and we're done. And then layer 4 is the object. So we're going to save all this information and we're going to send it over to layout. Okay, so here we are in layout. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to object number one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag that flat screen up and over to the left. I'm going to go to layer number two. I'm going to drag the TV that we modeled up. Let me back a little bit. I'm going to go to layer number three, the squiggly surface. And we're going to drag that up over top of the uh, the model that we're going to shoot. Okay, and I'm using a light here that's a uh, uh, an area light. So if we go to camera mode and I hit 1, camera 1 is looking at the object from this angle. Camera number 2 is looking straight on and camera number 3 is looking off to the side. Camera number 4 is going to look at these three objects and each of these objects will have camera one's image will be on the left one, camera's two image will be on the center one and camera's three will be on the right. If you bring up the surface editor on the CC1 we have applied CC shader you double click it and what you want to have is camera one is feeding CC1. CCTV2 
is going to get camera two. And CC3 will also get camera three. Okay? And the way I'm projecting it is in the, uh, in the Y scale at uh, 1.0 or basically 100%. So what I'm going to do is render. And there we go. Camera one gets projected on this surface and it's sideways. Camera two, front on, and camera three, sideways. Now, I'm gonna do a couple things here. I'm gonna go back to the surface editor and on camera number two, I'm gonna make the background surface, the background color, which right now is black. And on camera number three, instead of 1.0, I'm gonna make this three. And you're gonna see what happens. This middle box, will have black behind it and this squiggly shape this will be uh, zoomed in a little bit closer so you'll be able to see so let's do another quick render and there we go background color on number two there's no anti-aliasing going on here but number three has been enlarged so here is the after and here's the before and after before and after so that about covers using CCTV. Uh, I finally figured it out. I want to tell everybody about it. So I hope it helps someone out there. And thanks for watching.